Hello, uh, this is a duel against uh, despair advent without any trials. And I'm intentionally not using a super overpowered build. This is just something that maybe a player might end up fusing together without using the super stymied relics. Uh, I'm using Dark Knight, Dark Knight, intellect based. I'm using uh, Lunatic for the attack speed. Uh, bravery to help out with the break gauge a little bit. I don't know how I survived that, but I'm starting to panic here, so I'm about to use Dimension Bringer because my break gauge probably on both jobs was having a hard time. And then uh, also I have Runic Protection to help out with survival. So right now I'm at 1 HP, but instead of trying to blood weapon my way back up or anything, because this build is draining so much of my uh, HP that I'm just using runic protection instead. So I need to absolutely make sure that, that uh, if it falls off, like it just fell off and I reapplied it immediately because of like, if, if I get hit, uh, I die. So if I run out of MP, I die. Uh, if I get broken, runic protection falls off, so I also die. And uh, this Dimension Bringer didn't cost as much because I had uh, 20 soul shields up or a lot. But we'll say this is an opening that the boss offers where uh, most of the damage of this video. I also didn't trust myself to dodge Dantetskin, so I uh, did a Dimension Bringer to iframe my way through it. Rudic Protection just fell off and the battle is over. And even though this is not a build video, let's just kind of look at our gear or stats for a moment. Uh, just kind of flashing through. I was intellect based. I do have a healthy amount of stamina and spirit. Uh, I was using Black Mage 600% and 400% to help out with the soul shield, uh, giving me more intellect and also building my max MP. Uh, I have Pugilist 600% for to reduce the MP cost as well as the 400% to just get access to more combo abilities and also the extra damage dealt that it helps with. Uh, I do have Dark Knight 400% from my master points to be at near death at all times, except that I pretty much was near death at all times. Uh, and the other stats just kind of help the, the 250, the, the 120, and the 50%, just that extra little damage that helps. The Monk 400% for more HP, uh, that helps out with the Dark Knight's Soul Eater damage. Uh, and then it also helps with the Runic Protection, because that the more HP you have, the less MP you lose from that whatever calculation it does. Uh, I did have Hunter 400% so that no matter what, I got a flat amount of MP per punch. And the idea or hope is that I can punch them about six times and get a full bar of MP. Uh, I did have Berserker 250% for a form of Protect and Shell so that I, I don't lose as much break or, or even HP when I do get hit and uh, ultimately allowing my runic protection to lose less MP. And then the Berserker 120% and the 50% to refill break gauge when I hit the enemy. Uh, the Assassin 120%, 50% were there because uh, they reduced the soul shield break cost. Uh, but just kind of flashing through my gear, it's not anything super great, but it is something that you could reasonably have at this point. Uh, ideally, a lot better than what I have, uh, so not even all of it's fully optimized, but I, I had, uh, we'll say I have relics or the blue artifacts across the board. And then for the combo abilities, I intentionally chose a diversity of things so that uh, even two different jobs having, I'm sorry, same job, two different movesets, just so it feels different, even though uh, I could have like, super hyper optimized and just did the same move. Runic protection there to keep me alive, bravery to refill the break gauge, lunatic to help out with the attack speed, and dimension bringer to create those openings. Uh, but looking at master points, we have uh, largely intellect as my main form of offense. Spirit is there because I wasn't getting very much spirit from other stuff. 
So that, that just sort of helps out on the survival side. And then the Dark Knight, 400% to help that out. Uh, I did do near-death damage taken because I'm certainly not at full HP. So that trying to get that closer to 100%, minus 100%, so that I cut my damage that I take in half. Uh, I did have the soul shield break cost because of my play style. I, I tend to soul shield a lot. And then uh, because I'm soul shielding like roughly every five seconds, that soul shield damage dealt comes in handy. <laughs> and then uh, the last point could have been anything. But yeah. Um, oh, and then I also went with War Mage, even though that was a bad choice for the way I was playing, because I'm never at full HP, uh, except for at the very beginning of the fight. So yeah, not a build video, but just kind of wanted to post something because it's been a while.